In today's oil and gas industry, increasing demands and conditions have become commonplace and are only set to continue as operators maximize and improve efficiencies in their processes. The increase in sour gas is one such example. Increased sour gas percentages are being experienced across the globe, presenting unique challenges to pipeline operators. Sour gas can interact with moisture in pipelines and the metallurgy in the pipe to create iron sulfide, also known as black powder, a conductive material that can bridge isolation joints. Hot tapping and weld splatter can also create electrical bridging and can cause cathodic protection systems to send electricity to unwanted areas. These issues can be difficult to correct and can also be transient, more commonly known as traveling shorts. A traveling short is when a pig pushes the conductive particles from one isolation point to another. Fortunately, there are a couple of other solutions to iron sulfide buildup. One solution is to create long path isolation by using an electrostop monolithic isolation joint, and the other is to use a flange isolation kit that has a PTFE or PTFE base guylon inside diameter seal that conductive particles do not adhere to. The best technology for inside diameter seals is the evolution gasket. Another issue with isolation joints and electrical bridging is whether the isolation gasket matches the pipe bore or not. If the isolation gasket is not made to match the pipe bore, there is a high probability that iron sulfide or other conductive particles will build up in the gap that is created. The best practice is to have the isolation gasket manufactured to the same pipe bore as the pipe itself, so there is no gap for particles to build up in. There is no absolute method to totally stop electrical bridging, but these two practices have been proven to significantly extend the life of the isolation joint.